absence of roughly 80 years, the gray wolf has returned to Washington. This natural recolonization event presents an amazing opportunity to study how Pacific Northwest ecosystems respond to these top predators. Our work is taking place in the Okanagan Highlands of Eastern Washington, where these strawberry and seats and wolf packs have taken up residence. How will deer respond to the threat of wolves? Will wolves outcompete other predators? If wolves change deer populations, will we see other ecosystem changes? Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Worsing. As a professor of wildlife science at the University of Washington, I investigate predator-prey interactions. Our goal with this project is to better understand the changes to prey populations, other carnivores, and even plant communities that might follow the recolonization of gray wolves in Washington State. We have a diverse team of collaborators and researchers working together on this project. Here's where you come in. Capturing deer is an absolutely crucial element of our project. It enables us to equip deer uh, with tracking technology such as GPS collars and animal born video cameras with which we can monitor their responses to recolonizing gray wolves. When our study began, we relied upon ground trapping to capture deer, but the process was laborious and our success rate was low. So, at the end of last winter, we decided to try a new technique, aerial captures of deer from helicopter. Going forward, we would like to rely more heavily on aerial helicopter captures of deer for our research. However, this capture approach is expensive, so here is where you can get involved to really help our project. Specifically, our goal with this campaign is to raise $12,000 for more aerial helicopter captures during the upcoming winter.